Good afternoon, everybody. <coughs> All right. This is a very special occasion today because I have the pleasure to introduce my good friend Michael Shrimpton, barrister specializing in national security and constitutional law, strategic intelligence, and counter-terrorism. If that's not enough, he seems able to gain access to intelligence agencies worldwide, from Washington's Pentagon, where I've been myself, to as a trained pilot, he's well informed on international air intelligence programs. He's also well informed on world affairs, appears regularly on talk shows worldwide. Now, I propose to allow Michael only half to three quarters of an hour in order for questions to follow. I would ask you each to take it in turn when you ask questions so that everybody gets a turn. And also, please to refrain from making long speeches. The subject today is an invigorating one for us all. It is countdown to war. And here's Michael. Thank you, Harry. <coughs> well, I'm always... Uh, always a pleasure to be here at Marlborough, and uh, I must thank uh, Colonel Beckhoff for the, the very gracious introduction. I gather we are going out on the internet at some point, and I should explain for those who <coughs> are viewing this uh, who aren't here today, and I am in Mufti because this is a very uh, informal occasion. Uh, we're all friends here, and it's a Sunday afternoon, so I've ditched, <coughs> ditched the Savile Row suit for today, and it's gracious if you'd allow me to appear without a tie and suit. Uh, Colonel Beckhoff, of course, special is like, special, special, special privilege. Um, these are, uh, this is one of a, a number of very successful gatherings uh, here uh, at Marlborough, and I think we probably know everybody in the audience uh, that the informality of these occasions is one of, their great, uh, one of the great strengths of the Marlborough Group, uh, and it does allow the exchange of intelligence uh, in an informal uh, and friendly setting following a good lunch provided, as always, by the Bear. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, make a long... Well, I'm not going to make a long speech, as they, they've been ruled out. <laughs> I will abide strictly by the Chairman's instructions and uh, speak for about 40 minutes. Uh, and I thought I would divide it up into uh, his, a historical analysis, an explanation of why we are where we are today, uh, say something about uh, the EU, uh, which none of us here likes, and then go on to explain why I think it probable that we will move towards a third Anglo-German war and say a little bit about current strategic thinking um, in Washington, in Moscow, uh, in Germany, <coughs> and uh, elsewhere. Now, the critical thing to understanding post-war world is that at the end of World War II, we failed to shut down German intelligence. And if you don't understand that fact, now this is an experienced and well-informed audience. Uh, we have, uh, for the benefit of those who are not used to the Marble Group on the internet, and uh, I'm speaking, ladies and gentlemen, not just to this small informal gathering, but of course to the many thousands of people I expect who will be seeing this, judging from past experience. Um, excessive modesty, of course, is one of my problems, which I've been working on for some years, as you know, Harry. <laughs> But uh, one, uh, 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 one is told that one has acquired a, 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 a certain amount of audience on the internet. Uh, and so it's likely many thousands of people will be tuning into what we say over the next weeks and months. Unlike some of the Marvel groups, we are to some extent on the record because we're being filmed. So uh, I can't uh, be as free as I might in a Chatham House uh, uh, situation. Is it possible 
on record that he hunts which lost you sailors or Germans? <laughs> I, I will leave, I'm in the hands of the chairman, the very, have a very capable chairman, uh, and I'm more than happy, more than happy to have a Chatham House session at the end. But at the moment, the, the plan is a speech followed by questions uh, very much on the record because it's on film. Uh, so I think uh, I will leave that to the chairman at the end, and if that is the wish of the meeting, I'll be more than happy to, to go into a Chatham House section. There are things one can say under the Chatham House rule that you can't say uh, on the record.